We are back here in Forza Motorsports, and we are looking at the brand new monthly series or monthly car. Um, it's the 2019 Porsche number 70 935, and I currently have it tuned down to a S class. But um, let's take a look here. If we were to remove those items, get it at Stock comes at 819 PI. So this is the configuration you'll find for if you're going to be driving it in the GT series. It'll be a 840. You'll have one lightweight ballast or extra lightweight ballast. They'll have the race uh, weight reduction. You'll have the front tires and rear at max and everything else is stock. So that's the GT series configuration. Let's see what this looks like fully upgraded here. And these are the stats. So completely stock. We're looking at 6557. So 65 for speed, 57 for braking, 58 for handling, 71 for acceleration, you know, 691 horsepower. And a distribution of 43.57. So, well, not even that far into a P, P class here. So, probably be a pretty good R class vehicle. It does have seven gears, which is really nice. So, you know, handling 6.3, speed 8.7, acceleration 8.2. Get up just barely above 1,000 horsepower, 753 foot-pounds of torque. But we're going to be testing out in S-Class along with the GT-Class um, series. So let's bring it back down to the... S-Class I have here. So for S-Class, what I did was I did... Light ballast, and then just a little bit bigger on the rims in the rear, and then I use heavyweight rims. So, found that was the best way to get it to there without putting too much ballast on it and having to add other things to get to it. So, and then if you want, I'll just show you my tune real quick so you can copy it. So, this is a quick speed tune, so you can change up the uh final drive if you want to make it accelerate a little bit better. That's at full fuel as well, so just remember full fuel. And this is what I'm going to use on the Daytona track uh, for S-Class. Let's just go do a quick test drive at max performance here. I'll probably do some races in S class and GT class, and you'll see those in uh, later episodes. So, probably won't be using this one anytime soon in P class. It's gonna be a really good top of our class build. Even though in multiplayer we don't really see Lamar's like full sir, like old circuit often, even if it is an older race series, which is kinda of unfortunate. Let's see what we can get to for top speed though. Already up to 200. Good. 
not changing much of anything. We're doing pretty good here. So we do around this corner. It actually holds it pretty well, surprisingly. A little, a little late on the brakes there, but this car is extremely good handling. Plus it just looks really great. It's a good looking Porsche. Wasn't paying attention, just braked way too late. changing the like it's all wheel drive or anything which is unfortunate but I mean it looks amazing I think it's that tail that does it for me but yeah it's definitely a car I would suggest uh, going for I've already done some races in S class and it is it is very good it is very good in our classes where the GT series as well so if there's any car I would suggest grinding for it'd be this one well thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode have a great day